guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, I think. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Uh, the 20th. Is it Thursday? Yes, yes it is, because I did work, work, work and work so yesterday. Anyways, I'm sitting here working on my um, phone stand thing. It's pulling. Um, yeah, so I gotta do a 41 rows of just in a circle of this. I've done six. So I'm actually, I'm just keeping a tally mark right here <laughs> of it. Um, yeah, so this is a vlog. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> but uh, whew, my air just kicked on, but it's cold. I haven't heated up yet. It's blowing like right on my neck. <laughs> but um, so it snowed last night. If you can call it snow, it's dusting. They canceled school because of the mountains. I know they got it worse. It rained all day yesterday and all night. So it's probably, the mountains are probably covered in ice which is why school is canceled. So, uh, Jesse's home today. He's in the living room with his tablet and headphones. I asked him to put headphones on because he's listening to music. But, um, anyways, so we still had to get up early because my doctor appointment was at 7.30 in the morning. So we still got up regular time, like we were gonna get ready for school. And we left and it was so cold. <laughs> I was freezing this morning. Uh, the high today is 32 and that's not until 3 p.m. so it's it's like in the 20s right now and it's windy which makes it worse and it's wet which makes it even worse <laughs> um but we made it to the ob all on time and we still were stuck outside of it waiting because apparently they made me and another girl <laughs> appointment for before they opened and didn't tell the front desk people so no one came to open early to let people in with appointments that was early so we had to, we got there at 720 something and we had to wait until eight and then they finally opened and let us in and that was annoying i was, was kind of grumpy i was kind of grumpy with the front desk lady because i was like why make our appointment before it's open and then not have anywhere for us to sit we were waiting outside the door but inside a building you know it's in a building and there was no chairs and i'm not much pregnant i can't just stand there I was, we were there for like 40 minutes waiting i ended up sitting on the floor <laughs> and Devin and jesse were too we were all sitting on the floor it was just it was annoying but we got in there and uh, they got us going as soon as we got in there so i had to uh i got an ultrasound they check in growth and everything everything was fine she was laying like a frog she had her arms out and her legs out also like that but down <laughs> it was funny um she looked like a frog but and of course face down so no profile but we did get to see a bunch of hair she's got a lot of hair and uh also had to do the stress test thing again where they put the contraction monitor and the heart monitor in uh in a little tiny room <laughs> for it's like 20 some minutes it took forever and i had heartburn real bad because i forgot to take my um indigestion medicine before i went to bed last night so i was dying during the ultrasound and during the stress test because you're like leaning back you know and I was trying really hard not to throw up. <laughs> and Devin was trying to help me, you know, as much as he could. But I had to be reclined for that stress test thing. And it was pretty rough. <laughs> but uh, everything was fine. And then we went to the regular appointment. And, uh, you know, everything's fine. It's just all the same as it was. But I got a date. <laughs> so we are going in to the hospital on the night of the 25th, which is Tuesday. And they're gonna start the induction that night at 8 p.m. And then she will likely be born Wednesday, the 26th. So she's gonna be an Aquarius, of course, because she'd have to be born yesterday to not be an Aquarius. But um, for anything from today on, is today the 20th? Maybe today's the 19th. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but anyways, Wednesday is the day. Most, most likely unless uh, the induction like happens really quick and she comes before midnight which I doubt because um, they're inducing me a different way this time the f when I was induced with Jesse let me crochet that's why I brought this in here so I could crochet while talking because <laughs> I'll just single crochets when they induced me with Jesse they used the, fo the Foley uh, balloon method which was not fun at all that was absolutely horrible and it hurt really bad and it is a balloon <laughs> that they put behind your cervix which is up in there <laughs> and uh, they inflate it and then as it slowly deflates um, it softens your cervix I'm pretty sure that's, that's my understanding of it that was horrible it being put in was horrible I actually cried <laughs> during it and I felt sorry for the nurse 
I felt sorry for myself, of course, but also the nurse that was doing it felt really bad. She kept stopping, you know, and um, Devin was trying to console me. It was just horrible. Anyways, this time they're using the peel. It's called Cyto something, Cytotech or something like that. I can't remember. It's on the paper in there. And it's basically the same thing. They do the same thing. They put it in there. But they do it three different times. They're doing it Tuesday night at 8, midnight, and then 4 in the morning, Wednesday. That's what it's scheduled for on the doctor's orders. <laughs> um, so, I'll tilt this down a little bit in case you want to see me crocheting. <laughs> There's stuff piled everywhere. So, we'll see, I guess. It depends on how quick that medicine works. And then, of course, if that doesn't actually put me into active labor, they'll have to, once I dilate, they will break my water. Which, last time, they came to break my water, and it had already broken. And it actually had broken while I went to go pee. It broke into the toilet. And I remember being aware that that's what happened. But I was so out of it, because at the time, I was like 8 centimeters. Didn't have my epidural yet, so I was kind of out of it. I wasn't, like, in my right main frame of mind. And, um... Like, I knew it happened, but I, it didn't occur to me at all to tell anybody when I came out of the bathroom. Because uh, I was still able to walk around at that point because I wasn't um, epiduraled yet. <laughs> but um, I was hoping it does it that, that way, too. Because I've heard that them breaking your water hurts. And uh, I'd like to not experience that. <laughs> but I guess, you know, whatever. But uh, she said then they'll, after I'm dilated, they would break the water. And then start Pitocin, which I don't want, but I can't help it. <laughs> um, and also, I did today, I talked about all the side effects I've been having from the heparin. So, they drew my blood to check my platelets and stuff. Uh, because they said they might have to lower my dosage of heparin or um, take me off of it altogether. Because of all the symptoms I've been having from it, side effects. Uh, I'm having one right now, a really bad headache. And I could take Tylenols and it won't do anything. But my blood pressure's been fine because I keep every time I get a headache I check my blood pressure because <laughs> I'm scared for preeclampsia. But I've been having nosebleeds a lot. And uh like a really shaky feeling. Like I feel like I'm shaking, but I'm not physically shaking. It's like on the inside. Kind of like when you haven't eaten and your sugar's low. Just stuff like that. So they drew blood today to check that and they said they'd know tomorrow. I guess they'll call me. Um you know, either way. So I have to Today's Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I will take my heparin. And then I won't take it Tuesday. Is that right? She said Monday's the last day. Because they want me to be without it for 24 hours before I give birth. Yeah, that's right. So I won't take it Tuesday at noon. Um, which is good. <laughs> and then Wednesday I'll be in the hospital. So... Yeah. But then after she's born, I'll be going right back on to the other shots. Lovinex or whatever. It's, it's like heparin, but less. And then I'll be on that for six more weeks. So I still have a lot of shots in my future. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's what happened today. <laughs> and then uh, we, found, we got home at 10 on the nose. So we were gone for three hours because we left at 7. And then uh, we got home at 10. I made breakfast. Devin went to take a nap. He works tonight. Jesse is in there playing on his tablet. I was just sitting there like chilling because I don't feel good. Uh oh, our neighbor kid's crying. <laughs> I gotta figure out what to make for dinner tonight. Uh, I need to hurry up and do that too because I got a thought of meat. My alarm's about to go off too. I gotta take my shot. <laughs> and I need to go clean the bathroom up a little bit. So I wrote out a to-do list because mom, my mom's going to watch Jesse. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll pick him up from school, take him to my mom's. And then they told me, <laughs> she told me to eat the best meal I could um, Tuesday night before I come in. Because I won't be able to eat uh, until the baby's born. So I got to figure out what I want on Tuesday. I mean, Dan was talking about it earlier. <laughs> so we'll probably get something really nice uh, to eat that night. I have to go to the hospital at 6. I can't remember if I said that. <laughs> but anyways, we'll take Jesse to my mom's. And she's going to keep him and take him back and forth to school. Um, Wednesday and probably Thursday. I'm hoping that we'll have the baby Wednesday and get to come on Thursday. But, you know, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm not sure. Because Jesse, I was in the hospital for six days after he was born. Um, 
that's because he had a blood infection and he also was jaundiced, so they had to treat both of those. But, um, yeah. In our hospital, they, they, if they keep the baby, they do, um, release the mom, you know, she's not like a patient anymore, but they have rooms set up, like old, um, like it's just like an old wing of the hospital, where they let the mom stay with the baby. So the baby's still admitted to the hospital, but the mom isn't. And it's just like a courtesy room, so you don't have to leave your baby. So that's nice. So if something that happens, I'll still be there with her. They still feed me and everything. They fed me with Jesse, and uh, they actually fed my mom too. Um, we just weren't technically in the hospital. But uh, that kid is screaming. <laughs> he's he's three, so he's playing. But yeah, so that was today. Now I'm sitting here just working on this. I'd like to get this done because I'd like to use it when the baby's born. I'm gonna be sitting a lot, you know, holding her and recovering my body. So I'd like to have it. We gotta go this weekend. I told Devin he's off this weekend and he's gonna put in his paternal paternity leave. I keep calling it the wrong thing. So he's gonna be off from Saturday to February 2nd. <laughs> he has more time that he can take, but he doesn't need to take any more than that. Uh, so he's gonna be off, I think it was 12 days in a row. And uh, three of them, four of them is pre-baby and then the rest is after she's here. So that'll help me a lot with Jesse and you know, with me recovering from having a baby and all that stuff. So that'd be nice. But, so he only has to work tonight and tomorrow night and then he's off until February the 2nd. So, well, he's off that day and then he, he, he'd go back to work the third. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna be making some videos in the next few days, but um, there won't be a watch working on Wednesday because <laughs> what I'll be working on Wednesday next week is having a baby. <laughs> But I do intend on vlogging a little bit at the hospital, but it won't come out until, you know, we come home. Because my laptop is dead. And I can't take my computer with me. And plus, I'm going to be a little preoccupied. <laughs> but I will take some clips leading up to the birth. And then, of course, of her. And I might, I thought about doing, um, you know, a little short unedited video once she's born. And we're in the recovery room and I'm recovered. <laughs> uh, to show you guys. I feel like our heat is not working out because it feels cold when it comes out. <laughs> but um, it might as well just be me. But yeah, so I'm sitting here just single crocheting this. I did one row. <laughs> I got to do all of that and then I'll stuff it. Yeah, I'm gonna make the pockets. I don't think I'm gonna have enough of this yarn to finish the whole thing, but I do have this. Uh, skein and have two scrap balls so I'm gonna try to make it work and worst case scenario if I run out I'll just use a pink to do the rest of it because I'm trying not to buy yarn <laughs> I'm trying to use up yarn so um I'm trying to just use up you know yarn and I don't want to go to Walmart and buy another one to finish it with because I got all kinds of pink scraps I would go with this and plus white so I thought if I ran out I can make the pockets with different color oh there might be enough though. I'm usually really bad at judging. I'll, I'll look at it and I'm like, oh, that's not gonna be enough. And then I end up having a big scrap ball left over. I'm not the best judge as some of that. But yeah, so let me know down below what you guys are making for dinner. I always like getting ideas from you guys. I feel like we make the same stuff over and over again, but I don't know what I want. I know I have indigestion so bad because I forgot to take my medicine last night and it's killing me. I'm gonna be eating Tom's all day today. I'm gonna make sure I take my medicine tight before bed. Um. And I eat sausage for breakfast. I'm gonna regret that. It's so bad. I'm trying to think of what I want for dinner. Because I need to thaw out some meat. We have chicken, we have ground beef, and we have pork chops, and we have pork loins. But it's probably too late to thaw out a pork loin for a roast. I also have stuff to make pasta. We have this stuff to make pizza. Um, I think I have stuff to make chili. I kind of would just like to have some soup too though. I don't know. I might just make some soup. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But, uh, so tonight it'll just be me and Jesse. Jesse should have school tomorrow unless the mountains are bad. They might delay it two hours uh, because of the mountain kids and us. But I don't know if it's going to get above freezing tomorrow either. He might be out of school tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see what tonight brings. 
Uh, he's supposed to be going to my mom's tomorrow after school to stay the night with her because she misses him. <laughs> she wanted him last night, but it was already too late in the day. She would have only had him for like bedtime and then take him to school. Of course, I didn't know school was going to be canceled until this morning. But, um, yeah, so I guess I'll show you guys this happy meal real fast. I was going to make a video for it, but I don't know if I will make a separate video for it because I'm just tired and I'm, you know, I'm, about, I'm about to have a baby in like five days. <laughs> Let me set this aside. I'll show you this happy meal. This is the swing that was purchased for us months ago on the registry. I showed a picture of it then, but I finally got it here. It's been living in my sister's shed because we didn't have anywhere to store it. So Devin's got to put it up uh, this weekend. And actually this weekend, uh, Devin's off. That's where I was going earlier and I got sidetracked. Um, we have to get the car seat installed into the car, the, the base, and we have to find a rocking chair. <laughs> We're probably gonna go to the Habitat Restore because we got a really nice one in the city next to us. They usually have really nice furniture, like I guess rich people donate it, and then they sell it for like really cheap. So I want a real comfy recliner because I'm gonna be in it a lot, <laughs> rocking the baby. And um, yeah, so I wanna go see if they got one. And I think we could get it in our car because most recliners, you know, the back pops off. So I think we could get the base in the trunk because our trunk is huge. And then the back, in the back of the car. But if not, all I have to do is call my mom or my father-in-law. They both have trucks, so they can come and get it. But we got it. We got to do that. Like we're running out of time. Um, so that's something we're gonna do this weekend. I gotta go grocery shopping. I'll put in an order. I tried to do it this morning, but today and tomorrow's already full, so I have to put in one for Saturday. Um, I made a list of things to do for Tuesday for Jesse to make sure I have school clothes packed for him, school snacks. Show my mom where his homework and all that stuff is in his notebook. Remind her to pack him a water every day. All that kind of stuff, you know. And uh, give her the pickup tag from the car for school pickup. I need to get one of those made. They asked me the day when I got the first one how many I needed, and I just said one. I should have said like three. So I had extra ones to give to the grandparents. But uh, yeah, so let's see here. Yeah, so we gotta put that together, do the, get a rocking chair. And put the base of the car seat in the car and the car seat because <laughs> uh, we'll have to take the car seat with us to the hospital we still have a few things to pack in the baby bag mostly Devin stuff and my sweatpants I'm gonna wash them all probably Tuesday make sure everything's washed and clean I'm gonna we're gonna eat and then I'm gonna take a shower before we go to the hospital and then we'll go to the hospital and I'm gonna pack snacks <laughs> for after delivery because I know we'll be there at least one day after delivery but uh, I'm gonna pack extra snacks just in case <laughs> we get there um, or we're stuck there for a few more days. It really depends on if she's jaundiced or has anything wrong with her or if I have anything wrong with me because um, I have like bleeding chances or whatever. So I don't know if that's, they're gonna wanna monitor us longer. I did hemorrhage when I had Jesse, but it was for a totally different reason. I was on blood thinners at the time. It's because he had a little sensor on his head to track, I guess, his heart rate. And, uh, that caused a lot of damage coming out <laughs> and I hope they don't do that this time because that was not fun anyways happy well that was the swing that was bought for us a while ago it's just not been here so next and I can't remember who sent these I have to look on my phone <laughs> they've been sitting on my table for a while but I just got them I haven't washed them yet I'm gonna wash them because I want to take some of them to the hospital with us but they are uh sleepers <laughs> they came in a pack so there's this cute yellow one and it's, it says happy together and then the zipper ones which are the best ones <laughs> the ones with buttons are hard to use gray one with elephants <sighs> I'm tired and this cute one with the um, triangles you know and then this cute one stripe eating one with um an elephant and a giraffe on it. I can't remember who sent those. I'm sorry. I'll pop it up because I know I know I know who it was. I just forgot. <laughs> and then my nephew, he is 10. He turned 10 in August. He got these two things for her. So this is a pacifier, which I don't know if she'll use, but it was still cute that he picked it out. And then also this ammo bottle. <laughs> this is a bigger bottle. This will be for when she's older because it's a medium flow and plus it's a nine ounce bottle. But I, thought, I just thought that was cute that he picked her out something. And then, these are the swaddles that we bought. I mentioned that the other day from Walmart. They swaddle the baby up. There's like a picture right there. And this is from when they get older. 
but it's, um, there's a pink one. <laughs> it's not swaddled, it's just kind of, and the bottom of it unzips so you can change diapers easily. And it's also got like a holder there so you can check diapers. <laughs> so it came with a pink one and, and uh, one with unicorns on it. Right there. These things are so handy. All right, and then these are things my sister gave me. First is this little hair ball that looks like a crown. <laughs> it's like a little hair clip. It's so cute. I don't know where she got it. It looks like it's from Hobby Lobby. This looks like a Hobby Lobby thing. She probably got it over there where like the shirts and stuff are where you tie dye them. Because they got baby headbands and stuff over there. That's what it looks like to me. And she made this keychain with her Cricut. I bought her this plastic thing and this Seth for Christmas. It was on her Amazon wish list and I got her name. And so it says Juniper with a J on it. She made me one too, but she forgot to send it. <laughs> Mine's gray with L on it. And she's making Jesse one because he asked for one. But I'm going to put this on her diaper bag. Uh, when we get it packed. I don't even have it packed. And then she also made these with her Cricut. So she made this onesie. This is a little sister. It's pink. I don't know if it's showing up good because the lighting is kind of bad. And then she made a shirt for Jesse. It's his big brother. So I told him he has to wear it at least long enough for me to get a picture of them together. And then she also made this onesie. It says worth all the shots. <laughs> it's white. I'm just using a lamp. I don't have my ring light in here. And then I think she bought this somewhere because it was in the box as well. And it's like a sleeper sack. And it's just like a generic, you know, gender neutral one. It's a zero to nine months. So this will be when she's a little bit older. Because when she's little, I want her swaddled so she sleeps better. All right, that's all for my sister. And then these are from the, uh, well, let me show this Christmas card. This is a Christmas card that came late. This is from Natalie's Closet. She is in Florida, yeah. So it's, it's got a, a llama on it, or alpaca, whatever. But I got that, so thank you for that. I still have all my cards hung up. But there's some of them, but they're on like four different walls. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them there, because I like looking at them and I, I keep rereading them. And then these other two are from the registry. This one is from Shirley. I don't know this. this is a car, a baby monitor for the car. It's really, really cool. But it, I have to get Devin to install it for me. It's, but it's like an actual baby monitor. And it's got a little, um, little camera thing. I don't even know how it's, Devin can do with it because I don't know how it works. Um, so you can monitor the baby while she's back facing. Here's the little camera right there. So this would attach to the headrest of her seat, looking down at her, and then this goes onto the dashboard like a GPS, and then I can we can watch her because she'll be backwards facing for you know a while. That way I keep eye on her. <laughs> also paranoid when uh, Jesse was a newborn baby, I would ride in the back of the car a lot of the times, uh, so I keep eye on him. So that will help with that. And it came with a little thing to put under it. And it's got wires that Devin will have to deal with. Because I don't have the brain power to deal with it. But I'm excited about that. That was from, uh, I already forgot, Shirley? Yes, Shirley. That's a cool gift. I'm looking forward to using that. We had one of those mirrors for it with Jesse. And it just wasn't good enough. <laughs> and this one is from, this is from Kathy. I know I knew Kathy. <laughs> this is a, um, I don't think there's a picture of it on here. No, there's not. <laughs> I'll pop up a picture. It's like a uh, a chair for the baby to sit in in the floor, but it, it'll be when she gets a smidge older than newborn because she has to be able to hold her head up. But um, it's real handy. With Jesse, we had a um, what were they called? Those they weren't boppies pillows, but they were like those rubbery seats that you stick a baby down in. I can't remember what it's called. We had one of those with him, but I'm pretty sure those don't get made anymore. I think those got recalled for some reason. But uh, we had that with him. So I wanted something like that for her, and this is one that helps them before they learn to set up, and then, you know, as they learn to set up, it helps with the muscles and all that. So this will actually be going into the closet until she's old enough to hold her head up. But yeah, so that's all the baby stuff. And I also got a calendar gifted to me, which I'll show that in just a minute. It's hanging in my kitchen. I took my kitchen one down and put it in there. But that's all the happy mom that I got lately, and that's a bunch of stuff for my sister. Because we always hoard up stuff that we're giving to each other. And then when we do see each other, we just like swap bags and boxes of 
of stuff. So she finally got her um, rainbow wall hanging I made her. She finally got that. I've been chatting for 25 minutes. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to hop off here. I got to go figure out something to thaw out for dinner. Um, I wish I had some shake and bake. <laughs> I got it on my um, grocery list, but I can't pick that up till Saturday. I just really want some like shake and bake chicken. <laughs> I guess I could bread it myself, but that's annoying. <laughs> I uh, think I might just do soup tonight because that's just easy. I don't really have any energy. I'm tired. Bless you. You can't hear me. He's got headphones on. But uh, this is going to be a long vlog because I just chatted for 25 minutes and it's still early. <laughs> but I'll pop in maybe throughout the day. Maybe just some clips of here and there, whatever I'm doing. Um, all I got to do today is figure out something for dinner and I need to clean the bathroom. Just kind of like swipe it down. It's just dusty. <laughs> um, I hate that about bathrooms. With everything white, you know, and dust just shows up on everything. And I'll probably just sit around and crochet today and watch some TV. I need to get caught up on YouTube videos. I'm super behind. Um, I have a ton on my watch later list. I need to get caught up. And yeah, I'll probably just work on this today. So I'd like to get this done before the baby's born so that when I come home, I can use it. But it's single crochet, so it's taking a while. I like that it's pulling, though. It looks so cool. But, uh, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys throughout the day. <laughs> this is the calendar that I was gifted. The Hocus Pocus calendar. I love it. I've already got it hanging up in here and using it. I can't find it. There it is. I'm already using it. <laughs> also, this is the microwave we got. We just went ahead and got the little cheap one because we don't use microwaves very often just to like reheat things and make popcorn. The old one's still down there. Darren's got to throw that away. But uh, I wanted a little bit more counter space, so I wanted the littler one. And there it is. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop back on here. Um, this will be the last bit of today since I talked so much earlier. Um, I'm sitting there crocheting in the living room with Jesse. He's playing a game on his Switch. Devin just left, so it's a little after five. Um, so it's, uh, he's still got two hours before we got to do the routine for getting ready for bed and school and all that. So yeah, so I made dinner. I made a tomato soup type thing. <laughs> I just kind of winged it. I made some egg, egg noodles. And then I uh, put in two cans of tomato soup and a can of tomato bisque soup. Because <laughs> I didn't have three cans of tomato soup. And then I put in two cans of milk. And some seasonings. I think that's everything. And, you know, heated it up that way. And it was pretty good. And um, we ate it with some rolls. Oh, that was pretty good. I probably should have added some cheese, though. After it got done, I was thinking I should have put some cream cheese in it. Or some kind of cheese on top of it. But we have leftovers, so I can do that when I heat it up some tomorrow. <laughs> but it was pretty good. Devin liked it, and I liked it. It was a little spicy. I put some cayenne pepper in it. And it was nice. But, yeah, so that's what I had for dinner. And now we're just hanging out in the living room. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I've been watching some YouTube videos, but now I think I'm gonna switch over and watch some Discovery Plus and crochet. I'm working on my phone stand. I'm trying to get that done. And uh, then the only other whip I have going right now is that scarf I've been working on. The Sandra scarf. Uh, after I get my phone stand done, I'm gonna start working on that. And then I probably won't start any more whips until after the baby's born. And I see how that goes <laughs> with, um, me having time to crochet and stuff but yeah so tomorrow is friday i'm laying on my side so i'm breathing heavy <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i don't think i have any plans i'm trying to think of what bills are due this week i think they're all automatic bills <laughs> i do gotta put a grocery order in for saturday i need to do that <laughs> i got it already on my phone i just i keep adding things to it but i need to go ahead and put it in for saturday morning because we'll be out running around Saturday to look for a chair, a rocking chair. And I also, oh, I gotta get money out of the bank tomorrow to give to my mom. So when she takes Jesse, she can take him to get his haircut. <laughs> he needs a haircut bad. And uh, I'm pretty sure he has school tomorrow. So far they haven't canceled it. If anything, it might be two hours late because of the ice on the mountains. That would be nice if it was two hours late. I love it when school's two hours late because then I don't have to get up and go so early. But, yeah, so. 
I guess that's it for today. I cleaned the kitchen already. I cleaned the bathroom earlier. Um, I just swapped down everything, you know. I did a little load of laundry. It was just those baby clothes that I showed you guys earlier. The swaddles and stuff. And also my, um, my scrap blanket. I wanted to wash it so that it would get softer and drapier. And it did. It is so soft now and real drapey. So, I think I'm going to take that to the hospital with me. I didn't get the, the, um chills and shakes you know after jesse was born but i'm out this time and usually you know those hospital blankets aren't that great <laughs> they mostly give you like sheets you know so i thought i might take that to lay over the top of my bed and it'd be a cute backdrop for photos <laughs> but um yeah me and Devin was talking earlier he was asking what day we would be coming home from the hospital and i was like hopefully thursday <laughs> um but you know it really depends on my health and her health if she's jaundiced, Jesse was really jaundiced when he was born, so he had to be treated with that glowy lamp thing. <laughs> and um, he also had a blood infection, so that's why we were in the hospital for a week with him. But, you know, it depends on how she comes out and how I do. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping we get, you know, we go on Tuesday night, get induced, have her Wednesday, and then get to home Thursday, I think. That's what, norm what happens to normal people. But um, I don't know for sure, you know. So, well, I don't see, but he's, he's got to go in tomorrow. He's got to call and talk to the, the, whatever, <laughs> the insurance people, whatever it is, um, about putting in his paternity leave. He already put it in, but they told him to call back to f change the dates once we knew what the dates were. And now we know what the dates are. <laughs> so he's got to do that. See, he'll be out of work for 12 days, but technically he'll only be out of work for five days because of those 12 days he's only scheduled to work five of them the other days are days he's just already scheduled off so that's good you know <laughs> it works out good um vacation time was but yeah so anyways i'm gonna hop off here and get this edited at some point tonight uh and get it up and i'll see you guys eventually in another video i'm not exactly sure when <laughs> um Let's see here. I, I, we plan to do a No Catch Name episode Tuesday before, you know, in the morning time. Uh, and then I would have done a Watch Work on Wednesday, Wednesday, but I'm going to be busy Wednesday. <laughs> so um, I'm sure I'll pop back up one of these days. If I finish um, my phone stand or something, maybe I'll just pop in and show that. Or maybe I'll do another vlog over the weekend or something. Because <laughs> I don't want to just, like, disappear. But, um obviously videos will slow down, <laughs> but I, I would like to try to do some vlogs. Um, but you know, my crochet will slow down because I won't be crocheting as much as normal, at least at first, you know, and, um, we'll go from there. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys when I see you, I guess, but I will, um, uh, keep you guys posted on stuff, you know, and, uh, for sure I'll do a video Tuesday morning. I know catch name episode because surely by then I'll have my phone stand done and maybe that scarf and maybe something else if I start something else <laughs> um because now it's just sitting around waiting you know but I'll see you eventually in another video maybe over the weekend in a vlog and uh and then I'll see you hmm the day that we come home I could whatever I took at the hospital I can edit together and while I'm at the hospital I might do a um you know, just a little clip, uh, an unedited clip <laughs> to let you guys know after, you know, after she's born and we're in the room and recovered somewhat, <laughs> just so you guys can see her for the first time. So, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.